city of Albuquerque is calling for public input on what the role of the Albuquerque Community Safety Department should play alongside APD. Mayor Tim Keller announced the new Department of First Responders in June, and now people can weigh in on, on it in an online survey. Here's News 13's Annalisa Pardo. Now, Jose, the Albuquerque Community Safety Department will be made up of professionals with either social work or counseling backgrounds. The city will use survey responses to help create the policies and procedures of the new department. Starting with if you even support such a department, the survey asks tough questions like if an individual is trying to harm themselves or others, should the ACS responder leave the scene, call APD for backup, restrain the individual or use a defense tool? Defense tool? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Call a police officer, yes. They can identify and do a risk assessment of the situation and figure out what to do to de-escalate it. And if, if it escalates, then yes, I think they've got to be able to call in backup. The survey also asks what types of situations these responders should go to without a police officer. People felt very comfortable with an ACS responder going alone to things like a needle pickup, um, homelessness issues, concerned residents who want to potentially do a welfare check on somebody, um, and even suicide threats or attempts. So far, most respondents say the ACS responder should go with a police officer to calls of child abuse, missing persons, and domestic disputes. The survey launched last Wednesday, and already about 1,300 people have responded. Lizzie? Okay, Annalisa. The survey will be open at least until the end of the month. We have a link to the survey on alwaysoncareqe.com.